Bonjour, Medicine Scorpio. You're back. So, how was Paris? Oh, Paris. Paris is still glittering, <laughs> still ooh la la. Well, are you going to tease me or are you going to tell me what I'm dying to know? What did you think of Dr. Lagrassi? I think he's a dedicated scientist. Okay, and his idea for treating Laura? Well, after spending time with him and reviewing his research, I think that he may be onto something that could bring her back. It's not like me to be optimistic, so I guess it's a kind of indication of how much I want this to be true, but hope is still dangerous. It's hard for me to imagine anything that would bring Laura out of this place that she's found. But Dr. Lagrassi was encouraging. He was cautious, which I liked. And uh, your Patrick weighed in. Yes, I'm sure he did. The voice of doom and gloom, right? <laughs> oh, that reminds me, I actually have it with me. He sent this to you. <laughs> and the message is, happy birthday. I... I can't believe you remembered. That's really sweet. Thank you. Anyway, um, what, what did he have to say about the treatment? Patrick? Mm -hmm. He doesn't feel that there is any credible evidence that it would do anything at all. So it seems that the medical opinions are A, it could work, it could bring her back the way she was, B, it would fail and she would remain where she is, and C, it could kill her. What are you gonna do? I need to go see her again. And then I guess I have to decide if the chance of having her back is worth taking the risk of losing her forever. Pointing me in Dr. Lagrassi's direction. Be careful what you say. You may regret the day you ever saw me coming. No, I don't think so. You showed me a door I didn't know was there. Now, whether I go through it or not, that's still the question. I don't envy your decision. But if anyone is capable of making a compassionate yet objective decision, it's you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I bring bad tidings. Alcazar got Sky. Well, how the hell did that happen? You were supposed to hide her. I did, and he never would have got her. But she did a very bad thing. Don't tell me. Family contact? Yeah. As soon as the plane changed direction, I called her, got voicemail, called Monica and Alan, and they confirmed what I suspected. She'd spoken to Alan. So Alcazar had the quarter main mansion monitored. And now he's gone. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Rock. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? What do you think? No, look, man, she's my assignment. I have this whole thing covered. See, this is the problem. You think of her as an assignment, and I think of her as... As... Uh, well, yeah, go on. I, uh, well, yep. Sky and I were... Yeah, before, before, before you got married. Now... Oh, you haven't forgotten about your marriage. Tracy, you know, dark haired, living in the Quartermain Mansion. No, I haven't forgotten. But if Alcazar has Blaze, she takes priority. Oh, come on, man. Look, you're going to stumble into a situation. I just. Okay, just mess a suggestion. Up. Maybe you two want to stop playing adventure heroes and, I don't know, let the police handle it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Look, I, I thought you understood why I had to make her fight mine. I did, and I do. But listen, you are the only dad I've got, and you're not as agile as you used to be. Neither are you, Luke. Hey. Uh, look, I'd have to be getting the last rights before I'm going to put up with a sleazeball like Alcazar pushing around a pregnant woman. Come on, it's in for a penny, in for a pound anyway. Besides... I took her away from her family. I can't bail on her now. I knew you'd say that. And I wouldn't expect any less of you. Thank you. Well, that's better, see? Your father doesn't want to fight with you. Not on a day like today. <coughs> that, Subtle. That was completely uncalled for. I did not forget no, 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 your... No, no, you know, okay, okay, okay. I don't need any excuses. Not like I'm a little kid expecting a teddy bear and a little balloon tied to my hand. But... If I cannot convince you not to go after Sky, will you please promise me to be careful? Do you promise? Thank you. I must get back to work. Keep me informed. Psst. Happy birthday. Hi. Okay. Now, before
before you start in on me. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I had every intention of giving you this before I left. Right. True. No, honest. Look, sure. I bought this weeks ago, and I have a receipt. Oh, no, I, th that's tacky. To, I really to, don't... To, no, no, to, I don't look, need to, to see just it. Look just look at the date. Put it away. The price. Please. The well, um... It's going to open it. <sighs> sure. Oh, my God. What? This is really scary. <laughs> well, that I have the capacity to remember. I mean, I am nothing if not full of surprises. No. <clears throat> From you? From Patrick. Hmm. Maybe Mom is right. Maybe I'm falling in love with someone exactly like you. Come on, give me a hundred things wrong with that. Can't think of one. But when I get back, we're gonna have a party, you know, uh, balloons, cake, maybe funny hats and clown, perhaps. Well, Clowns I, scare me. All right, no clown. And any day but Sunday, I'm doing the AIDS walk, and I listed you as a sponsor. Just I'm here to help. Okay, well, you can help me <clears throat> by coming back safe and sound. Not just a little beat up? Mm. Just a little beat up. I hate it when you agree with me. <laughs> Thanks for the present. Come here,